Hello YouTube, what is going on? It is iPod Apps Freak and today I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, 3GS and iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 6.1.3. Now let me show you guys that my iPhone is on 6.1.3 and this is currently a tethered jailbreak so you will need to, or at the end of the video I will show you guys how to uh, semi untether it so you don't have to connect to Red Snow every time you want to reboot your phone. Now let's get started. Make sure you do have Red Snow 0.9.15 Beta 3 installed on your computer and your IPSW file. I will have all the links in the description where you can download all of these files. Or There's only two files basically so let's get started. Now you want to run Red Snow and make sure you do have the 6.0 IPSW for your iPhone because we're going to trick Red Snow into jailbreaking iOS 6.1.3 and this does work perfectly fine. Now run Red Snow. Okay, so Red Snow is started up and it says connected iPhone 6.1.3. Now you want to go to extras, go to select IPSW, and then you want to scroll down to your IPSW file that you downloaded. And then this will come up. The following build was identified and hit OK. Now you want to go back and hit jailbreak. And I'm sorry guys about the videos that I haven't been uploading. I do have an app review coming up, uh, more Cydia tweaks coming up t later on tonight, and I will upload all of those tonight. So, yep, I am back for good. No more bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so now you want to check off install Cydia. And then you want to hit next. And now it's going to tell you to put your iPhone into DFU mode so make sure you power off your iPhone first and this is very easy we've done it in the past so make sure the iPhone is powered off you hit next hold the home, hold the power button for three seconds then hold the home button and the power button at the same time for at least 10 seconds and then you want to let go of the power button but keep on holding the home button for at least 10 more seconds and now your iPhone should be into DFU mode now it is jailbreaking your iPhone currently and it is going to download the jailbreak data onto your iPhone And then there's a lot of scripts that are going to run down on your iPhone screen. Do not panic. This is natural. And Red Snow will say that it's done, but do not back out of Red Snow. So I have a lot of app reviews coming soon. And this should take about at least five minutes. Maybe more depending on what iPhone you're using.
and I'm not gonna cut any parts out of this video just to show you how long the process really is Right now, it is moving applications. I have to get my um, setup table back where I used to do my videos. We did move into a new house, so I don't have everything set up. Now it is installing bundles and it's rebooting your phone. So your iPhone should reboot now. And if it gets stuck at like on the loading bar, please do not restart or disconnect your iPhone. That is the worst thing you could do and then you're gonna have to restore your iPhone all over again that is definitely gonna suck okay so your iPhone should be on now we skip the activation and Cydia is not gonna be on your home screen what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back on Red Snow and then we're gonna hit just boot we're going to select the IPSW again just to make sure and then we're going to hit just boot and then you want to power off your iPhone again and put it into DFU mode again hold the power button for three seconds then hold the home button Okay, should be into DFU mode. And now it is exploiting with Lime Rain. Uploading the first stage, now the second stage. And now it is going to reboot your phone. And now the pineapple logo should pop up on your iPhone screen. That means Cydia is installed on your iPhone now. And now you can exit out of Red Snow if you want. And this will take longer than it than it usually does. Um, that is because you just tricked Red Snow into jailbreaking iOS 6.1.3 with the software 6.0. So now you can slide to unlock, and as you guys can see, Cydia should be on your second page. We're gonna launch that. We're gonna launch Cydia hit user hit done and let Cydia load okay guys I am back and sorry for the inconvenience guys but they have actually removed the source that I was gonna add um, so I'm guessing this is just a tether jailbreak now and again sorry for the inconvenience I did not know that they actually removed the source but if this video did help you guys be sure to like this video drop a comment down below and be sure to subscribe again 
It's iPod Apps Freak. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.